some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan, with yet another Sobtard in court. Huh, this place seems to be a hotbed of sovereign citizen activity. Kind of makes you wonder. But at any rate, uh, we have a, uh, well, rather fresh-faced sovereign citizen who, uh, well, just doesn't seem to get how the system works. But, well, the judge definitely educates him on this and, uh, well, it has a surprise ending, too. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Start with the trials first. I got Ezra Thomas. We might have to do this on Monday anyways. And face in person. <laughs> he has, a, he he has, has the toughest time with them. Okay. Uh, Daniel James Williams? Uh, yeah, I'm here on special appearance. <laughs> Oh boy, you're here on special appearance. Yay, we got a Sobtar that's here on special appearance. In other words, he's trying to play somebody else other than himself. But you know what? The judge isn't going to be fooled by this one bit. In fact, she's going to bring him back to the light, apparently. Okay, I, do you know my special appearance means what? Because I need to have the actual person present. You need to have the actual person present. Yes. Person so are you Daniel like James Williams? I'm not a person if you ask asking if I'm a person, like a legal fiction, no. Okay. So the only person that I can have on this hearing for this person is Daniel James D'Angelo Williams. Are you that person? <clears throat> Am I that person? No. Okay. So... If you know them, the tell them that they're going to get a show, show cause. Now, I'm going to call it on the record, but I need the actual person because I can't communicate with just anybody. I have to communicate with this person. Did you Is talk to the attorney, Wordberlin? Yeah. Did you for talk the, to uh, uh, so for the record, Your Honor. Or... Okay, let me call it then. I'll call it. Well, yeah. you talk. Okay. Now calling the matter of the people versus Daniel James D'Angelo Williams. This is ticket number SP1585809. Count one, fail to display a valid operator's license. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Count three, 26 to 30 miles over posted speed. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. And good morning, Your Honor. Ben Werbling, P64889 on behalf of Daniel James Williams. Judge, I, I did attempt to talk with the individual that's on screen. He he indicated that he did not want he wanted to proceed in pro per or pro se if you will he did not he, he declined my my legal services at this time dumbass you dumbass you're a dumbass such a dumbass you're an ass well that's not all that surprising given that this is a young kid who probably doesn't know his head from his ass and therefore was easily taken in by these soft hard gurus who probably uh, fleeced him for every dime he has all right. All right. Sir, uh, can you state your name for the record? For the record, uh, the living man, Daniel Williams. That's good enough for me. I'll take the living man. Okay. All right. Um, This is the date and time set in this particular matter for a, um, what's it called? Let me see where we at. Oh, it must be, it's a pre-trial. In this particular matter, sir, what that means is that you're here today because it's been a alleged that you have some tickets before my court. It's my understanding that Attorney Werberling tried to communicate with you and you did not want his services. Is that correct, sir? That is correct. I do not want to okay. contract with Mr. Waverly. Okay. All right, sir. You know, you have the absolute right to have an attorney. Two of these tickets are misdemeanors, and that means that some constitutional rights kick into play. Um, because I can take away civil liberties such as up to 90 days in jail as well as up to a $500 fine. You understand that, sir? That's fine. Okay. And so at this point in time, um, how do you wish to proceed? The three options are typically you can ask for some more time so that you can come into compliance. That's called a, a new pretrial date. You can ask for a bench trial date. 
That's a trial date before myself as the trier and finder of facts. The officers who wrote this ticket will have to appear in court as well on that date. Um, you can also ask for a jury trial. That's a trial before uh, six citizens of the city of Detroit who would come down here and have to decide on this matter. Or I guess it's four options because you can also take a plea. Um, I think count three is not in the system because they had to return the ticket. So it's really just two misdemeanors that should be appearing on the docket for today. Let me check and make sure. That's my ticket. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's, and all this sounds like you're saying like go to court. And I, I, I'll go to court if appearing in person. That sounds fine. No, we are in court right now. So my question is, how do you want to proceed? What do you want to do? What's the next step? Do you want to have a new date so you can try and come into compliance, meaning that you want to get some of these documents like your license, some car insurance? Do you want to take a plea today? There's usually an offer that's given to folks if they want to take advantage of that and, and take some type of resolution in this particular matter. Or you can ask for a bench trial before myself or I'm a jury trial I'm trying to figure out what, what jurisdiction um, is this court being upheld in? It's in Detroit, Michigan. That's located in the state of Michigan, the United States of America. No, no. What I mean is, is this court in um, in a common law jurisdiction or a criminal jurisdiction, admiralty law? But Michigan, Definitely criminal. Um, so the, 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 this, this is a criminal matter. It's criminal misdemeanors for traffic matters. Okay. So that's why I told you those constitutional rights because criminal law kicks in. Okay, and under the criminal law, the, the jurisdiction of common it's law, criminal. it has common law and it has criminal jurisdiction, admiralty of the military tribunal uh, review from Article 1. So I'm trying to figure out, are we under common law or the criminal jurisdiction of admiralty and military tribunal review from Article 1? That should be obvious. Uh, neither one of them. I mean, uh, this is not the high seas, nor is it a uh, military installation. And, uh, well, it's more of a criminal statutory kind of thing, you bozo. Neither. We're under criminal law in the city of Detroit, state of Michigan. That is given us power by the state of Michigan through the U.S. Constitution as it gives powers to each state to make laws and jurisdiction and rules. And each community within that state is allowed to do so as long as it... Okay, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar, uh, I got uh, one question for you. What amendment did she just describe to you? I'll give you a hint. It is in, within the first 10 amendments, which has the Bill of Rights... Uh, I'll give you a hint. It, it starts with the one and ends with the zero. Uh, if you can't figure that out, I will give you another hint. It's called the Tenth Amendment, which, as she just described, it gives the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, which, again, filters down through every level of government, from the state to the county to the city and everything like that. I mean... It's quite easy to understand. It's within its powers. Exactly. And I'm a living person, not an entity on document. I'm not. Within... I'm not an entity in document either. I'm a living person as well. And living people get in vehicles and they drive them and they get tickets. <laughs> so that's what we're here for today. How would you like to move forward, Mr. Williams? I don't have that much additional time today for it. However, I'm giving you some options so that you can be able to choose which one you want to do today. Um, and if you don't want to participate at all, what I'll do is I'll enter a show cause. A show cause means it's a hearing where you fail to participate in my court hearing. And then if you fail to participate in the next day, then I'll issue a warrant. It's a zero bond warrant, but it'll be a warrant out there until you want to at least choose one of these avenues. There's been alleged, it's been allegations just at this point in time that you violated some of the laws that are followed by the citizens of the city of Detroit, County of Wayne, state of Michigan, as a part of the United States of America. It's been alleged at this point in time. So all I'm trying to do is figure out what, how you want to proceed today. You need some more time. You want to try and get in compliance and get that license together. I don't mind. I give time for that. Well, I, I, have very... serial, I have the serial QSIP number to my license and the serial QSIP contract to my insurance as well. And it's both valid. 
However, they're so, both private. They're inside of a trust. I'm, I live privately, so I don't have to show the policy enforcers my private insurance nor my uh, ID when they pull me over from traveling privately in my automobile. Do you do 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 you have a valid license? I have I have identification to prove that I'm able to operate this automobile in my estate. If you drove on Hubbo and Eaton, that's in the city of Detroit, and that is not private property. That is you very much a public road. <laughs> that is a but public you, road that no, is paid for by that, the you, citizens. That is paid for by the citizens like myself who pay hefty taxes, hefty taxes to everybody to be able to allow them to ride on those roads within the city and the state of Michigan. So if I run your license, is it going to come back valid? Because if it is, we can not actually dismiss that ticket. And if you have car insurance and you show it to me today, I can actually dismiss that ticket as well. Do you got some car insurance? Yes, ma'am. I have a, a ongoing um, uh, serial Let number. Me Let me see. It has to be like, it's a, usually they give you a little form. I know I have to print mine out for mine. I have I have I have um paid mines um with um FRNs online, so I only have the online document, and I have it in my Apple ID, so I don't I could take a picture okay. on this. Can one. you um I'm gonna send you my email address if you could send it to my email address that take care of two of the tickets actually, okay. Let me see. I'm gonna send you the email address. I, I also have another question in settling the subject matter. Yeah, go um, ahead. Um, after the case get dismissed, it's with prejudice or without? Um, if you have the documents, I'm willing to do it with prejudice today. If you have these, you see what I just sent you? you? Send, me the, send me the insurance. We do it without prejudice, but they're not going to refile it. You better okay. have a valid license. His license I is valid. <laughs> Send me, send me the other one. The only one that did appear on the docket is the speeding ticket. Let me see what I can do about that. That's speeding the only one crime, you might have to dispute. But speeding isn't a crime. It has to be an injured party, and it has to be presented, and the injured party has to be having no. all you talking. You talking about civil law. That's not civil law. This is this is a, a, like a civil infraction in, imposed by the state of Michigan, and the injured party is all the citizens, essentially, if you want to go that route. And there you go. She just explained uh, the injured party argument to this softard. Everybody in this kind of uh, thing right here can be the injured party. The state can be an injured party. And besides, don't give us the argument about speeding as a victimless crime or anything like that. Because if you speed and you end up injuring or killing somebody, well, what's your argument then, dumbass? Because we could potentially be injured by your conduct and your behavior on the roadway. But but that I hear what you're saying. You said the word potentially, potentially. That's what you're saying. And then the state what was somebody would have to present me a statement where the party is injured. They would have to present okay. me a statement. Well, we can always do a, a hearing on that ticket. But if you send me the if you send me your car insurance right mm -hmm. now to the email address I sent it to, then I can dismiss those two counts because you got a valid license. And if you got valid insurance, did you did you did I send it to the right person? Or I put it in the chat for everyone. I'm gonna send it directly to you, Mr. Williams. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because if you can send me this, okay. Hey, Mr. Watts, I'm sorry to interrupt the meeting. No, you good. He's in here. And he's Mr. Not Watts, I need to. Up. No, he's Go not. Ahead. I'm gonna just call him on his phone. Okay, that works. I have a, I have another question. Yes, There'll sir. There'll be no file on my um savings bonds, will they? No, there won't. We're just, I'm just strictly dealing with these matters. You have a really nice, clean record. We can dismiss at least two of the tickets. I know you have some disputes about the last one, but just send me the other one because I can't. I, he has a valid license. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. Appreciate you. No problem. We're going to get through this. I'm trying to write it down because I can't really see. Mm -hmm. Take your time, just uh do do it. I'm I'm sitting right here waiting. Okay. And that's dot com or dot org. I see it. Dot dot org. I'm sorry.
You see, Attorney Weberly, we're off the record in this other matter. I'm going to see if Mr. Wright will answer and come back to the courtroom. He did. Mr. Wright. Charles Wright. Mr. Charles Wright, press star six on your phone or unmute yourself. I don't know if he's even muted, Judge. He is already a mute. Charles Wright, I'm going to just remove him. Maybe he'll log back on or something. Because that was your last person, wasn't it, Attorney Warburton? I think. I believe so, Your Honor. So, I'll give him five more minutes to sign back on. If he doesn't, then you are free if you would like to. I know we had a long week with a lot of members of our wonderful community coming in. So. Thank you, Judge. I'll be here. Okay. All right, wait, just to, let's see if he logs back on. Maybe he was having trouble hearing us. Attorney Mason? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right. The only ticket, and I'm just waiting for his... Um, his uh, SOS? Uh, his SOS came back valid for his license, Mr. Cool. Williams. He has a valid license. He's in it over the insurance. It's the speeding ticket that he's disputing at this point in time. I could what set is? it for... Uh, it's uh, 26 to 31. He was doing... Uh, it was a stationary radar, 51 and a 25, alleged. Is this Joe Williams? This is uh, Dan Daniel Williams. 51 and a 35. 25, unfortunately. 25. It looks like he was on a Hubble and Eaton. Eaton. I'm sorry, I should enunciate my words, as my dad would say. What's his uh, record looking like, Judge? This is it. His record is totally clean. And as he does not have a CDL, this is his, he don't have nothing on it but his name at the top of the sheet of paper. Okay, you know what? I... Okay, Mr. Wynn, has... don't do it again, okay, please? Don't do it again. Please? Please? I'll, I won't. I, I, I won't. I mean, we, we worry about little kids and little old people like me, yeah. you know? No, so, I'm part of it. Like I, I know y'all see the crystal. I'm, I'm real. Like you oh. know, so it was, it was a rough day. It, that's okay. All. Okay, I'll give you know, judge. I'll leave it to the court's discretion. Uh, there we go. Whatever what? the judge wants to do. Mr. Williams, if I, when I get this little insurance, if your insurance is good, I'm gonna dismiss all three counts today. Look there at you, you when go. you participate actively in our system. I sent it. Um, I just sent it to I you know. as well. Appreciate I know. You. I'm just waiting for it to come through. I was I was excited when I saw that you had a valid license. Tell your friends, please, to do what they do and get their <laughs> license because it's not that hard. And look at you. You're going to keep a clean record today. You see that, Mr. Williams? By coming on here, I know you want to state your ground. And I, I understand. That's yes, part of growing up is learning to exercise your stuff, but it's also being respectful. And you were respectful. And look what happens when you're respectful. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate that, too. Okay. All right. Sometimes it moves a little slowly, so don't feel bad. You know, Judge, usually I dismiss the insurances myself. I oh, always dismiss okay. those insurances, so. You know, oh, okay, way. yeah. I was about to say, he, I mean, right now he's floored me with this license after he came on here talking about some of the person of, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing my research since I was like 18. Yeah, don't, don't, don't stop that research. You just do what you did. Act respectful. Come in here. Allow counsel to help you next time because they're not trying to lead you down a path. And you keep keep that license up to date, valid. Keep your insurance up to date and valid in your vehicle. And slow down. You won't have no issues. Back on the record in the matter of People versus Daniel James, D'Angelo Williams. Here's a ticket SP one five eight five eight zero nine. Um, I caught this matter already. We had to stop and get some information. Just state your name once again for the record, Mr. Williams. Please say your name. Daniel Williams, the living man. All right. This is it's my discovery that he has a valid license. We have had a nice little talk about him showing documents. He has insurance. 
And on the speeding, we're going to give you your break, right? But if you come back again, we'll be able to see it. So just make sure you keep everything valid, up to date, and slow down. I'm going to dismiss these tickets today. And I'll do them with prejudice in your honor, okay? <laughs> all right. If there's nothing further, Mr. Williams, you're all set. Thank you. And keep keep that light going, okay? Don't let Thank them kill you. your light. It. You have a peaceful day. You too. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Now, I do have some concerns about that. Sure, they let him off the hook, but will this encourage him to, uh, well, uh, act like a soft heart again or anything like that? Because he did the living man BS right there at the end, which, well, I guess it is possible that that may be the end of his programming as far as being a sovereign citizen, it may have been the last part coming out, but uh, I really doubt it. Uh, if he uh, continues down this soft hard path, uh, well, I'm sure the judge may end up regretting letting him off the hook. But you know what? Time will tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. <laughs>